here's a fun challenge for you. How would you make this rollover effect that continuously goes around a circle? The first challenge for me was to find a group of elements closest to my cursor. So I started in a basic demo like this, where I could roll over box number 26 and get two boxes to the right and two boxes to the left. Now this has nothing to do with proximity to the mouse, we're literally just counting numbers. So if I select 19, I'm gonna go to 20 and 21, and 18 and 17. Which means if I select 17, you'll notice that 15 on the row above gets selected, and if I go to 16, well, two numbers smaller is gonna be 14 and 15. So I had this interesting wrapping along rows, and the tricky part though was when I got back to the beginning here, notice that if I select one, it's also gonna select 29, and if I select zero, we're gonna get 28 and 29 on the bottom. So that was the tricky wrapping that I wanted to solve. And same thing happens towards the end here. If I'm on 29, zero and one get selected. So I placed a bunch of circles on an SVG path, and I'm selecting the ones close to my cursor using the same method, and when I get to the end, we wrap back to the beginning. Let's move back over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and bend that path into a circle, and then you'll see we get the same seamless following effect where those path ends meet, and it is lovely. So, I'm curious, how would you approach a challenge like this? I'll give you one of my starter files, and we'll see what you come up with. Stay tuned, as I'll be sure to post some of my solutions shortly. And if you want to truly master GSAP, head on over to creativecodingclub.com and discover the joy of animating with code.